Good morning, first graders. Happy Friday. Today we'll read our morning message, go over some of our calendar activities, and then we're going to talk about circles and we're going to talk about how to compare all the shapes that we've talked about this week. So let's get started. Good morning, first graders. Today is Friday, May 22nd, 2020. You will practice and learn with circles. You can compare shapes too. Have a fantastic Friday. Love, Mrs. Roche. Yesterday was Thursday, today is Friday, and tomorrow will be Saturday. The weather outside today is going to be partly cloudy. Let's sing our song. A um, penny is one, a nickel is five, a dime is ten, and a quarter's twenty-five. First, I want to talk about shapes. Now, all shapes have certain characteristics that we've been talking about. They might have sides, they might have vertices, they might be open, they might be closed, okay? So, when we're comparing shapes, we talk about and group them based off a characteristic. So if I said, put all the shapes that have four vertices on the left side, you could see how the trapezoid, the rectangle, and the square all have four vertices, so I put them over here. If I said to compare shapes that have three or less vertices, like the triangle only has three, and the circle has none, I would put them in this side on the right. You can compare shapes based off the vertices, just like I did up here. You could also do it with the sides. If I said to put all the shapes that have four sides on the left, and all the shapes that have three sides or less on the right, you can see that I did that. So remember, this shape is called a a rectangle, good. What's the shape called? Square, great job. And what's the shape called? Trapezoid, very good. This shape is called a triangle, very good. And this is the shape I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about. I know you know it. It is called a, a circle. A circle is a closed shape because you can see there isn't a line. If I made a line like this, it kind of looks like a C now, um, that is not closed. But when we talk about a shape and it is closed, that means it makes a circle. A circle does not have any sides or vertices because it is round. It doesn't have straight edges like our other shapes. So we know that there are no vertices in a circle and no sides. Today in math, you're gonna practice some things with the circle, and then you're gonna practice comparing all these shapes that we've talked about this week in some math activities in your math book. So let's get started, boys and girls. Today, boys and girls, we're going to talk about circles. A circle is a closed shape with no vertices or sides. Now, fish blow bubbles, and when they blow a bubble, the shape can be a circle. If you look at this fish, he blew some bubbles that were closed and some that were accidentally open. So, you need to have your pencil out because what we're going to do is close those circle shapes that he blew and then I want you to draw four more bubbles that the fish could have blown. Then I want you to describe the shapes by writing how many sides and vertices there are. So get your pencil out and see what you can do. Close the circles and draw four more circles and let's see what you get. Okay, do you see the boxes around the three bubbles that were already on the paper? Those are the three shapes that you should close by drawing a line to make the circle. Then you can draw four more bubbles, it doesn't matter the size, on your paper. So you should have a total of nine bubbles on, on your picture. A circle has no sides and no vertices, so put the number zero on the line. 
Circles are two-dimensional shapes. They are closed and round. They do not have sides and vertices. Now you can see our pig over there. He's been with us all week. He ran into the circle because it is closed. And a circle has zero sides and zero vertices. Go ahead and take your pencil and trace over the number zero, and then we'll get started on the next problems. With these four problems, we're gonna write how many sides and vertices are in each shape. Now, if you look at all these shapes, they kind of remind you of what shape it makes. If you're thinking that all these shapes are circles in different ways, then you are correct. A circle can be big, it can be small. You can see a circle in a ball, a button, and probably many things around your house. Now. Circles, if you remember from above, have zero sides and zero vertices. So what number do you think you're gonna put on all of the lines for each problem? You're right. For problem one, there are zero sides and zero vertices. Same for problem two and problem three and problem four. Write zero on all the lines. Okay, boys and girls, this is our independent practice time and I want you to practice more with circles. For problems five through eight, it wants you to write how many sides and vertices all these different circles have and if that's a clue, you know what number should go on all of these lines. <laughs> Remember, it's the same because a circle is round, it doesn't have any sides and it doesn't have any vertices. So what number would you write? Zero. Problem nine says, circle the objects that match the first shape. Well, the first shape in problem nine is a circle. Look at all those different shapes. Use your pencil and circle any of the other shapes that look like a circle too. Problem 10, circle the closed shapes. So you can see all the shapes that are located above the fish. I want you to go through those shapes and only use your pencil to circle the shapes that are closed. Problem solving number 11. I am a closed two-dimensional shape that has no sides or vertices. Write the name of the shape. Draw a picture of the shape in the space. So if you think about the shape we've learned today, that's going to help you. You can go back to find out how to spell it. Problem 12. Draw a picture of a two-dimensional shape. How many more sides and vertices does it have than a circle? Well, we know a circle is zero, so whatever shape you draw, it has to have more than zero sides and vertices. Mahid described the shape as a two-dimensional shape with four sides. Mahid is wrong. Make it right. We know that this is a two-dimensional shape, but it does not have four sides. How many sides does it have? Write it on the line in your best handwriting. If you don't know how to spell sides, go back to the story problem and find that word and underline it to help you. Okay, boys and girls, now we're gonna go on to lesson four and we're gonna compare shapes. So thinking about all the shapes that we've learned this week, shapes have sides and vertices unless it's a circle. Since we don't have attribute blocks at home, what I want you to do is use your pencil to draw different shapes. On the left, you'll draw shapes that have four sides. That would be like the rectangle or the square. And on the right, I want you to draw shapes that have less than four vertices. Okay, that means the corners. For example, a triangle has only three vertices and a circle has zero vertices. So go ahead and think to yourself about our shapes and draw them on your paper. Your paper should look something similar to this. It's okay if it doesn't look the exact same or have the same size of shapes, but you should have a square, rectangle, and trapezoid on the left, and a circle and a triangle, maybe another different size of triangle on the right. Earlier in the video, we talked about how you can compare and sort two-dimensional shapes. 
So you can see the triangle, circle, and rectangle, and they have those dotted lines around some of them showing that they circle that. The direction said, circle the shapes that have straight sides. A triangle and a rectangle both have straight sides, so that's why those are circled. On the right side, you see that the diamond shape, which is also a square, and the rectangle are circled because the direction said, circle the shapes with more than three vertices. More than three would be four or more. So we're gonna compare in different ways. Let's look at problem one. Problem one says shapes with four straight sides. Well, I see a square, a diamond, a triangle, and a rectangle, and all of those have really straight sides. It doesn't matter if they're horizontal or vertical, but they do have straight sides, so I'm gonna circle those four shapes. Problem two says shapes with three vertices, which means corners. That means I'm gonna circle all the triangles in problem two. Problem three says shapes with four sides the same length. Well, I know a rectangle has two different lengths, but squares have the same length all the way around. So I want you to take your pencil and circle the diamond-like shape and the square. Problem four says shapes with three sides and three vertices. We know those are triangles. Circle those now. Okay, it's independent practice time. I want you to circle the shapes that are described. So from problems five through 10, read the directions and then circle the correct shapes that match for those directions. Problem 11, Madeline sees these objects in her school. How many of these objects have more than three sides? Well, if we look at this picture of a clock, it has a circle in the middle, but around it is a square, so it has more than three sides. Circle any of the objects that you see that have three sides and write the number of objects on the line. Problem 12. Circle all the same type of shapes and then explain your answer. You can stop and pause the video to write down the same sentences you see on my paper. It says these shapes are all blank, or you could write this shape is a blank. Go ahead and figure out how to compare. Awesome job with your comparing of shapes and learning about the circle. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. If you did have any questions about our shapes and how to compare them and tell how they're the same, or different and how to group them in different ways, please let me know and I'll help you. I'll see you on Tuesday. Monday we do not have school um, because it is Memorial Day. So I will see you on Tuesday and we will learn more about some reading and math next week. An update, yesterday, or sorry, not yesterday, on Wednesday we had a Zoom call and 12 of our friends from our class were there. How awesome is that? It was so good to see some of you. We're going to have one more next Wednesday, May 27th. I sent an email to your parents, so hopefully that you can come and join that Zoom call and we can all see each other again and maybe play another fun game like we did on Wednesday. Have a wonderful weekend, boys and girls. I miss you so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye!